But now it appears the show's patriarch may not return. It's official, everyone. Despite all the controversies and difficulties coming from a certain lead actor, Yellowstone is coming back for one last batch of episodes, and I'm personally relieved that this show will get the ending it deserves. Now, there's a lot to discuss about the upcoming season, so let's jump straight into it. For starters, this technically isn't season six. I know a lot of people are calling it that, but the show will only have five seasons in the end, and the episodes that'll conclude the storyline are more like part two of season five. Either way, we're getting six more episodes to tie off all those loose ends, bringing season five's total episode count to 14. That's longer than any previous season, which makes sense considering how much story they have to cover. Besides, plenty of other shows use this trick too. Breaking Bad's final season was a two-parter, and the same went for Mad Men. So if anything, Yellowstone is keeping a bona fide prestige TV tradition alive. You're goddamn right. As for the release date, the season will premiere on November 10th, 2024, so we'll get to know where each member of the Dutton clan ends up before Christmas. The thing is, Season 5 Part 1 finished in January of 2023, and you might be wondering what took Taylor Sheridan so long to complete the second part. A lot of things got in the way, but the recent strikes from the writers and actors guilds definitely didn't help. Filming during a strike would have been ethically questionable at best, and Taylor Sheridan couldn't write any new material until a settlement was reached. This obviously led to a lot of people worrying that the show was cancelled, but we now know that it was just an unforeseeable delay. With the strike finally over, Sheridan and his team are ready to get to work, and the actors can now return to the set as well, since their union hammered out a new deal. I don't think people will ever tire of the images of running rivers and through mountains that have stood the test of time mm -hmm. and been there forever. However, it'll take some time before filming can commence. And based on what I've heard, Sheridan hasn't even started shooting any actual scenes. He's eyeing late spring 2024 to get the ball rolling, which should give him more than enough time to get everything done in time for the release date. But I still haven't mentioned the elephant in the room, and there's a good chance that it might rear its ugly head again. I'm talking about Kevin Costner's recent disputes with Sheridan. Not long after Season 5 Part 1 finished its run, the showrunner's beef with his main star became public knowledge. Kevin had already asked for a near-impossible filming schedule for the first half, committing to just 50 days of shooting for the entire batch of eight episodes. When the time came to discuss part two, his demands got even more ridiculous, with the star saying he was only available for one week of filming. That obviously wasn't going to fly, because that's not nearly enough time to wrap up his story arc. And with all the other actors operating on a tight schedule, there was no way it could have worked and Paramount eventually decided that it was time to move on. They signed Matthew McConaughey for a spinoff show that would take Yellowstone's place on the network. Yellowstone and, and, and Costner's role is what will, what will man do to protect land and family. Yeah. With Taylor Sheridan at the helm, of course, and a few months after the dispute came to light, Kevin struck back by saying he wasn't intending to return to Yellowstone for another season. This ended up being the second acrimonious split that Kevin went through in 2023, with his divorce also casting a cloud over his legacy, and the network followed this up by announcing that Yellowstone would end after its fifth season. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that this was an unplanned ending, though I doubt that Taylor Sheridan will have any trouble bringing the saga to a close. He already has plenty of spin-offs expanding the universe, so Yellowstone can be put to rest without it affecting the franchise. My only question is this. Is Kevin Costner returning to end his story or not? Last I heard, he was absolutely obsessed with this Western epic called Horizon that he'd been planning for decades. In fact, he said that he couldn't commit to a long schedule for Yellowstone because he wanted to get that project off the ground, and I have to say, it's absolutely massive in scale. He's already planning to release two chapters of the film series in 2024, with the first coming out on June 28, 2024, and the second on August 16. That doesn't leave a lot of room for other work, so I have a bad feeling about Costner's involvement in Yellowstone's final episodes. The good news is, all of the other cast members have confirmed their return. Kelly Riley, Wes Bentley, Luke Grimes, and Kelsey Asbiel are all slated to come back as the Duttons along with the Broken Rock Reservation cast, but that still leaves Costner's return up in the air. Last I heard, he told his own version of the story, claiming that he left the project because of a payment dispute. 
According to Costner, Sheridan was offering him way less money for the final season, and the network apparently owed him $12 million, which he'll obviously want before agreeing to return. He's considering taking the matter to court, and from the way things are looking right now, there's just no way that Costner would be willing to bury the hatchet, even if Taylor agrees to meet him halfway. But can you imagine a season of Yellowstone without the patriarch of the Dutton clan? After all, John's story ended with a bit of a cliffhanger in Season 5 Part 1, with Beth telling him that Jamie might need to go away for good. They could move forward without John, kind of like how House of Cards ended without its longtime leading man Kevin Spacey. But if you've watched that season, you'll know that it was absolutely terrible. So that's not the best option either. I've heard some rumors that Costner's people reached out to Sheridan, saying that he's still interested in finishing what he started, but at the same time, they said that he's perfectly happy with how the character's story ends if he doesn't come back, so it could go either way. In the end, Kevin's refusal to budge on his scheduling and compensation requirements probably ruined any chance of his return. We'll just have to wait and see, but regardless of what happens, one thing's for sure. The feud between Beth and Jamie will be a huge part of the final season. They've been at each other's throats for years now. You told me to come home. Why on earth would you ever listen to me? And after we all found out about Jamie's questionable choice about Beth when she was a teenager, it's easy to see where the feud came from. Beth can't have kids because of Jamie. She's seen him betray the family time and time again, and in the final episode of Season 5's first half, she was taking her thirst for vengeance to a whole other level. Jamie's busy with his own plotting, asking Sarah to hire professionals because he knows that Beth's coming for him. I seriously doubt that everyone will make it to the end of the season alive, so expect at least a few casualties with either Beth, Jamie, or both dying as a result of their bitter feud. This might also give the showrunners an opportunity to write John Dutton III out of the show, possibly saying that he died off-screen and leaving his children to pick up the pieces. That would completely alter the story's trajectory, but there's a lot to suggest that the writers will go this route. Some are even saying that John's colon cancer could come back, which would be a neat and tidy way to get rid of him. Cancer doesn't have much foresight, so kills a toast, which kills it. But Kevin might not let that happen, because there's a clause in his contract that says his character needs to die an honorable death. Dying of cancer off screen doesn't really fit that description, so maybe he'll go down in a blaze of glory that'll get explained in a plot dump later on. If I did this to your home, what would you do? Well, I'd kill you. That's right. Whatever happens, we have six more episodes of Yellowstone to look forward to starting this fall. Plus that Matthew McConaughey spinoff that's in the works. There's a cowboy ethos that deems trespassing more clear. So Kevin's return might not even be a big deal in the grand scheme of things. 